The skin condition known as melasma is characterized by progressive hyperpigmentation with a symmetrical distribution on sun-exposed areas of the body, such as on the face. However, it can also appear in body surfaces that are not exposed to sunlight. Unlike more ominous lesions that occur with sun exposure, melasma is not associated with malignant transformation, nor has it been shown to confer an increased risk of skin cancer. The macules of melasma are tan to brown and have irregular borders. They are often confluent, forming large patches of hyperpigmentation. These lesions are not associated with pruritus or any other symptoms. Melasma often appears during pregnancy and in patients taking oral contraceptives or hormone replacement therapy. There may also be a positive family history or exposure to phototoxic drugs. The skin discoloration may worsen with sunlight exposure, so methods of photoprotection are recommended, such as wearing a wide-brimmed hat and applying high SPF sunscreen that blocks both UVA and UVB light. It can take months for improvement to occur, and recurrence is common following re-exposure to sunlight. If the melasma began upon initial treatment with an oral contraceptive or hormone replacement therapy, then this continuation of these medications should be considered. As well, topical skin lightening agents, including creams that contain hydroxyquinone or tritinoin, may also be considered first line for treating melasma. Second line therapies, such as chemical peels, are generally reserved for patients with refractory symptoms. I hope you found this lecture to be helpful and worth your time. Please feel free and very welcome to leave a comment or suggestion below. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe and check out some of the other videos in this channel.